it's not one thing it's another but today it's both things my laptop was dying my camera was dying so now i have both plugged into their charging devices so i can record this video hey guys so today i'm going to be doing my june wrap up and i read a total of 14 books this month and since i read so many i am not going to go into the descriptions of these books and i'm not going to go into too much detail about my thoughts and opinions of them i will say if i like them or not but i'm not going to do a like full-on like review of it so the first book i finished this month was a game of thrones by george R. R. martin and i rated this book five out of five stars and i definitely loved it it was definitely worth the couple days of reading and it's definitely worth reading even though it is huge the next book is maleficent by elizabeth rudnick and i rated this five out of five stars as well and i enjoyed this book so much i watched the movie first and so i went into reading the book with like the movie characters in my mind but the book is literally like exactly the same as the movie pretty much and so i really enjoyed that and i enjoyed the reading experience the third book is we were liars by e lockhart and i rated this five out of five stars and i really enjoyed this book it kind of tore my heart out of the end because unlike some people i did not see what was coming and i did not predict anything so I was a bit taken aback by everything. The fifth book I read is Atlantia by Ali Kondi, and I rated this two out of five stars. I did not really enjoy this book. It was kind of really stupid in my opinion, and I just, I didn't like it. And I did a full on review of this book, so I will leave the link in the description box down below if you'd like to know more of my thoughts and opinions on that because I definitely had a lot to say with that book. The next book is Monument 14 by Emmy Laybourne and I rated this 4 out of 5 stars and I really enjoyed this book. I went into it hoping that I was going to enjoy the book but I didn't really expect to fully enjoy the book but I did. There were certain things that I did and didn't like about the book but that's okay. I also did a full review, video review of this book, and I'll leave that link in the description box as well if you'd like to know my thoughts and opinions because it is a definitely a book that you guys should read because it's actually amazing. The next book I read is the second book to Monument 14, Sky on Fire by Emily Layborn, and I rated this one three out of five stars. I enjoyed it, but at the same time it was kind of boring, and there were certain things that I didn't like about the book, but... It was still a good read and I still have to read the third book. I actually asked for it to be like delivered to my library from a different library and then forgot to pick it up. So I'm going to have to either buy an ebook or re-request it at my library. The next book is Ask the Passengers by A.S. King and I also did a full review on this and I'll leave that in the description box as well for that video. But I rated this 4 out of 5 stars and I really enjoyed this book as if you guys watch my review video for this book. I liked it except for some things with this book and so I think everybody should read this. A.S. King is a really good author and I'm really glad this is my first A.S. King book that I've read. The next book is Please Ignore Vera Dietz also by A.S. King and I gave this four to five stars and I definitely enjoyed it. I really don't know what else to say about this book. It was a nice read. The next book is I Was Here by Gail Foreman and I rated this book one out of five stars and I did not enjoy this book whatsoever i did not like it i just i thought it was too overhyped and i thought it was kind of really stupid and so this is just i just i don't think i can get into gail foreman's writing because i read um if i stay and i didn't like if i stay i read where she went and i didn't really like where she went as much i mean it was definitely a lot better than if i stay and then i read this and i just don't think gail foreman's writing is for me the next book, which is was my most excited read for this month, besides like Game of Thrones and everything, is Odd Thomas by Dean Koontz. And I rated this 5 out of 5 stars, and I really, really, really loved it because I have seen the movie, and I loved the movie, and so I thought I would read the book. And I'm definitely going to continue on with this series because Dean Koontz is a lovely writer, and he writes very amazing stories, and just... Odd Thomas. Who can't love Odd Thomas? Seriously. The next three books I read this month is actually part of a trilogy series thing. I'm gonna say a trilogy because there are like three books and then two novellas and that is the Shatter Me series. So we have Shatter Me, Unravel Me, and Ignite Me all by Tahara Mafi and I am so glad that I finally read these books because they were absolutely amazing. Okay. So I gave Shatter Me 4 out of 5 stars, Ignite Me 4 out of 5 stars, and Unravel Me 5 out of 5 stars. 
I think I just like did those in like backwards order, but anyway. The only problem I had with the series trilogy, whatever it is, is Ignite Me. Adam goes through this huge character change that really isn't cool. I don't like how different he became in that book and I feel like to hair him off he did a really bad job changing his character up but I really enjoyed learning more about Warner's history and the why like why he does things and I was team Adam at the beginning of these books but now I am team Warner and I just I love them. They were nice. And then the last book that I read this month, which is the biggest disappointment and the worst book that I have ever read in my entire life, and a lot of you guys are going to be so like upset about this, but that is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard, and I rated this one out of five stars. I didn't like this book. I'm going to be doing a full-on video review for this book because I have a lot to say. I will leave my written review in the description box down below if you would like to know why I didn't like this book that much. The only thing that I liked about this book is the cover and the inside flaps and I feel like this book is just way too overhyped and I'm not going to continue on with the books so. So here is some of the books that I have read <laughs> this month. As you can tell, a lot of them were YA books. So if you have read any of these books or have any thoughts and opinions of them, you should leave those in the comments down below. Also, if you like this video, you should give it a huge thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you would like to be notified of any new videos that I post. If you also have any video requests or any tags you would like me to do, leave those in the comments down below because I am running out of video ideas for me to do. But until next time, bye!